All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Link Click, Click Season 2, Episode 6. Right. Last episode was oh. fun and lighthearted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Just good for the whole family, mm -hmm. you know? Yep, just some good family fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but now we've got a crazy new development. We do. We because do. we've got the person that we thought was the person that was maybe doing, the, like, the, you know, the killings and stuff is actually not the Probably the person that was doing the killings. No. And in fact, they have turned themselves in and will only talk to Chen Jiaxia. Yeah. Hmm. Li Tianji. Uh, she had a ringer of a childhood. Mm -hmm. But with the way in which we were able to see what was going on in her situation, mm -hmm. through going back through the picture that was passed along to Lu Guang by okay. her... We have we have a lot a yeah. lot that we can get into a lot of, here. A lot of questions. Um, hopefully, this conversation goes undisturbed by possessors and stuff. Right, because, and it's not all you know, just some kind of bait or thing to mind learn. game. Right, to yeah. learn what their abilities can do or right. something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we are we are in for a treat. So y'all, yep. without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, the hair looks like him. Mm -hmm. Could have been anybody, but... Oh. I mean, they're bringing us back into the emotion of everything, really. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh. oh my god. Watch this whole story end up being about the way in which they're bringing their third crew member in. And it's just how we're gonna save her, you know? I mean, that would be awesome. And they that would, basically that would be friend, yeah, bend yeah. and, you know. Uh huh. Oh, oh, we're no, going so directly. We're not. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Maximum pain. Holy shit. All right, well, don't just stand there, you useless piece of, piece of shit. God, the animation on him just call for a, like, an ambulance. Well, he doesn't want to do that because then he'd admit that he was the one that did it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, right. so that can actually happen. I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. you, we don't know. Like, right. Like, it probably, probably can. Again, this is the whole Lu Guang always speaks in certainty. Mm, yeah. Oh, the distortion. Mm -hmm. God, she's not even saying anything no. anymore. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. No, we get it. Yeah, no, those, it. Are, those are real it. tears. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because he's in her body, he's feeling what mm -hmm. she's feeling, yeah, but it's yeah, also yeah, yeah. him. Yeah, just though, I don't want to look at this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he's talking to her in this moment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was this some animation specifically for the story? Hello. This show is so beautiful, like, despite being so dark and... Yeah, I was... I was not expecting a second... Like, a second episode of... That. Yes, we have to see how it fully resolves until he gets out so that we can connect back to the prison. What if this is the last words that he's saying to her? Oh, no, he... I'm... I'm... I'm pretty sure it is. Oh! Oh, he is calling the police! Right. Good man! Good man! Good man! Okay! Oh! 
哎呦，打得不可开交！你们赶紧过来啊！程教师，以后日子也别过了，看我以后怎么弄死你们！啊！啊你给我等着 ！Right, right, yeah。给我等着 ！Yeah。程教师。Oh shit. Okay. Oh. Why is he not completely asleep? I don't know why. I can't see anything. Oh, was there a second? Was that a second possession? Yeah. You didn't force out. You didn't force out. Yeah, someone, someone jumped into her, maybe. Yeah. Uh huh. Or someone jumped into the mom. But it was kill. What if the daughter jumped into the mom to kill him? Fuck. But him moving into the mom, that's... Huh. In the process of killing the two, Liu Lan used the blade to kill Li Fan. But Liu Lan also had the blade to kill the blade. Oh, geez. So he didn't die from the hammer, and then he ended up grabbing a kitchen knife and... Shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a very good question. It's possible that they are one of them. Their plan... Right, so they they got adopted or something, or they got picked up. But but if the if the brother didn't die, yeah yeah. Right, so then this ties in. Yeah, this is uh huh. Alright. Oh, okay. Be cautious. Yeah 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 yeah. Well, um, someone strangled themselves in the police station, so. 小程，去的路上我跟你讲一下谈话时的一些技巧和注意事项。The fact that we just got out of the uncomfortable stuff and now they're already making me uneasy with this music is it's masterful. I I I oh yeah yeah fantastic thriller and the way that there's this constant feeling of escalation despite getting falling you know yeah yeah. 所以记住我之前教你的提问方式，问话的节奏很重要。谁掌握了节奏？ Interesting. Okay. Alright, here we go. It's gonna be like, you recognize me now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder how memories would get updated, potentially, if... Yeah, yeah. If they would even get updated. Yeah. Hello. My name is Li Tianxi. Yeah. Li Tianxi? Right. Cool. A very place where they put it. Yeah. Huh? Probably just agreeing that thanks since you uh, brought Shen Zhashi here, like. Right. Well, you guys. I get mm -hmm. it. I get it. All right. The game. Okay, so. Yeah, I guess maybe it is her. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 你从一开始进门知道我名字后，就再没问过我来历。难道你早就了解过我的身世了？ Yeah. Yeah. 那我就更好奇，你是怎么知道的？糟糕，现在他是不是真正的李天熙还不清楚。Sure, sure. 嗯哼。这样的话，关于那张照片的事就更不能说了。Yeah, that theoretically. Oh, that could have been her brother, right? Uh huh. 他到底是依靠什么能力拆穿我的谎话？现在也不得而知。Right, so maybe that was when her powers awakened and she possessed her mom to kill the dad. 是通过一张照片，了解了你的过去。嗯，这次你终于说实话了。Wait, all three for you, okay? 一个姑娘怎么打嗝比大老爷们还粗鲁？果然是快乐水，喝完心情好多了。话说。Product placement. Let's go. Ah, not too big of a deal. Just curious. Dang, 
我就是能听到和看到比别人更加细微的事物。嗯 ，OK。一阵清风在我听来就像哭喊。Right, so, hmm, probably senses on the tongue and everything could be a bit intense too. And maybe that's why she never spoke because it was like too loud. Yeah. 我就会感觉有很多蚂蚁在身上。Oh, so that's why she can tell when he's lying or not. Sure. 把我的喉咙就这样堵住了。嗯哼。And yet my brother grounded me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was screaming and screaming. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, nice. yeah. Nice. Right, right, right. <laughs> Okay. Dang, she's All right. she's actually like looking for, for help here. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Right, but the audience wasn't told what she told him mm -hmm. that makes him want to help her now. Right. Wait, is this a Johan situation, situation where, like, there was a switch? Okay. Wait, what is Lu Guang trying to time with things here? I mean, he probably helped them disappear. Right, but doing it means that he knew about them before that they would eventually develop abilities. So, Ken Jin had to have gone back into, like, at like like had to have some way to observe like the past in well, some ways. Or maybe or maybe she did it and then told him and he believed her. Right, but and why would how... he have been involved in the case then? No, I think it was just happenstance. Sure. Oh. Oh. oh shit. Oh Lu Guang's moving. Yeah, so he wasn't possessed to jump or anything. He just he got out. Right, it was a way to get Cheng Jiaxi, yeah. Mm hmm. Jiaxi, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, either possessed or uh, blackmail, maybe, with some of the stuff that she said. Fascinating. Cool. Okay. Right, and I love that we don't get his perspective anymore. Yeah. Because it's either that he's being possessed right now, or her ability has some ability to compel or compulse. like, Or just with some of the stuff that was said, with the connection that was shared maybe through the possession and things like that. It's right. the... Now it's just a different cer set of circumstances, right? Sure. Chen is has been the loose cannon as like a uh, part yeah. of his defining characteristics, right? Right, but the other so, thing is that if Lu Guang is moving now as well, that means that they've got a plan as well. Sure. Potentially something yeah, that they're timing in where it's the, he communicates something to her as well, where it's like, lead me back to him. Like, sure. give yeah. me the, uh -huh. we, we've got everything set up. So both sides could be trying to play each other right well, now. Well, at the same time, wanting to keep the number of people that know about it to an absolute right. minimum. Because if there is, if, if it wasn't, you no, know, it it very much is like the confirmation that like this was her, like she yeah, was yeah. the person doing the stuff, talking about the game and all right, that. Right, right. But yeah. Hmm. Cool. All right. Okay. We've got uh, Li Tianjin mm -hmm. and uh, Tianji, and she has some kind of ability. Yep. Um. All we know at the very least is she's aware of whoever the person was that was in the place there. Most likely. Right. She Most likely, is she person. is the actual person, um, which is, is very interesting then, because that is a big um, discrepancy in the character that we have understood of her as a kid to now, 
Which, granted, there could have been an instigating incident back then. There could have been a lot you know, of uh, um, there could have been but, a lot of things that changed and shaped her. Right. The main thing that we know as a hint here mm -hmm. is that um, Shang Zhaoshu had a moment where he felt shunted out of her, yep. not of his own volition, and then was inside the mom, like watching from her perspective. Meaning that on some level, whatever happened power wise mm -hmm. or something like that, that's that's what that was. That was yeah. the that was the that was the incident that uh, was probably the first Yeah, traumatic event that yeah. you know causes her to that unlock her, her third eye kind exactly. of a thing. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Right. Um and in some ways she wanted Lu Guang to know about this. If that was her that passed the picture along. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, and and maybe even, um, you know, with the whole well, yeah, with the whole time travel thing of, uh, like the present creates the future, which creates the past, and that's how it always was versus the time changing right, right. stuff. Because Lu Guang did that say that whole thing of the, you know, if you don't pick that up, then the future that we are in could stop existing, and it's like, oh shit, okay, right. Which but, which just further adds to the idea that Lu Guang has so much that yeah. he's hiding from and, us, and and it's become <laughs> it's coming so close to the surface, like in starting yeah. to like break the water. He's, that like he he had a time, and he's like, okay, now I jump yeah. through the window, right? Like like what are you doing, Lu Guang? We are gonna have to have a talk with Lu Guang <laughs> at some point, yes. you know, like a very long, very, talk. very long, lengthy talk. Even <laughs> if it's just the nope, I can't tell you about that yet. Nope, I yeah. can't tell you about that yet. <laughs> yep, you know, yep. um, but. Okay, so yeah, we've got some, we've got a power situation going on. Yeah, but I get the feeling mm -hmm. that uh, Chen Zhaoshi helping her is not because of her power. It's not. I, I don't think it's some mind control. It could be. It could okay, be. Okay. So, so, my, I, so yeah. So I think you're. I think you're right. The reason why I thought mind control mm -hmm. specifically was because she initiated basically with like a an opportunity to have hand on hand contact. Oh yeah, and that definitely is reminiscent of like Lu Guang and Chen Zhaoshi clapping. Right. And stuff. That's yeah. that's intentionally mm -hmm. visually evocative. Right. But then he didn't do that. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end of the conversation, she uh got him to physically contact her in right. that way. And then immediately after that he's helping her. And and he's... we also get her to like to get him to promise something apparently, but we don't get to see what it is. Like... Well, right. And that could be a part of his deal mm -hmm. that he's doing with Lu Guang or yep. whatever. But either way, he doesn't speak and we don't get his perspective for the rest of the episode mm -hmm. from that point on. Yeah. So that's why I brought that theory up. We will see if it's I, I not think, that. I think there's definitely merit to that. I think. But it, then, it yeah, totally how would be. how would she be the one that was then controlling or possessing, depending on which one it is? Um, then uh, uh, the mom? Uh, no, uh, Kyung. The oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. uh huh right yeah. There's the whole situation of the the, girl, yeah. the stuff at the end of season one, which was such a like bombshell set of developments. Right. That now that we're getting explanation or potential explanations yes. you know uh, uh what's the what's the lawyer speak term alleged explanations <laughs> yeah. you know for that whole situation this there's there's like connection points where it's like okay these two they're things very are very thin threads they're very thin threads yeah. that seem like they can move very dramatically exactly. so like exactly much. what the implications are we have yet to see and this episode i i feel like did the classic link click thing yeah. of the we're not actually going to give you answers. Right. We're going we're to give you almost an answer. We're going to give you almost Pretty an answer. Much an answer. We're going to give you something that that has a smelly smell, like an answer. Right. 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 Which is the but, hey, the game was mentioned. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. That's what that's what uh -huh. she said when she was being. Lu Guang is looking at his phone and like checking the time, then jumps out a window or something. You know, whatever that was, right? So you know, or he did the classic thing where he takes something and throws the window, yeah, yeah, and then runs he, into the closet. Yeah, and everyone's yeah, exactly. like, "Oh, he's gone!" And then oh. they then they leave. How did he survive? The, wait, no, no, you dumbass! Right. I just wanted you guys to leave so that I could leave. Oh, this trick in the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but then as a result of getting all this stuff, where we don't have to see the details of the things that cause these events mm -hmm. to happen, we're able to have all of these crazy developments and mm -hmm. sort of be pulled along this wild ride without needing to stop and be like, "But does this actually?" Does, th does this work? Does it make sense? We can deal with that later. We That's can deal with that later. Because time problem. travel works. It's irrelevant when we get the explanation. Basically. That's yeah. probably one of the best things that this show has going for it, is it can pull anything out of its ass and just be like, you know, someone in the future jumped into the past. And, and Lu Guang, you... you <laughs> 
gaslighting son of a bitch being yeah, yeah. like yeah no you, you can't change the mm, it doesn't work it, de it definitely doesn't work you should stop trying because it doesn't work <laughs> translation in Lu Guang's head please don't change the oh, past god, please oh, don't god, change oh, the past please don't change the past yeah please don't change the past please don't change the past fuck 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 <laughs> like, 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 you know <laughs> Lu Guang it's real strange that like when you say that it can't be done you get real concerned when well, about it's about to happen you know, you know? right <laughs> yeah but Okay, yeah. I like yeah. her as a as a new character intro. Mm -hmm. um, like she's she's definitely quirky, while at the same time having enough like contradictions with regards to, oh yeah, going from like simple uh, desire to protect herself, her brother, her mom, yeah, or yeah. avenge them, or whatever, to now I'm going to come in and stab a bunch of people and make them kill themselves because they were supposed to be dead. Right. So like we that's we have we have we have a a lovely percolating mix of contradictions that mm. are uh spilling forth from this character here yep. that is in some ways potentially a mask upon a mask and there's uh -huh. a couple things that they could do with this because as of right now her personality um is i think being subdued intentionally mm -hmm. for the purpose of whatever she's here to do yep um whatever that is she's playing mm -hmm. her own game yep but the fact that uh, uh, Ke Ke Mr. Kian, the guy mm -hmm. who's very clearly the antagonist for this this right. section of the story, or potentially the whole story, um, he has his hands and on the puppet strings in some way here. Oh yeah, to the point that they even had him do the thing in the in the car when he was about to when it was <laughs> yeah. about time not the putting on the gloves. Oh, he claps. Oh, you know, and yeah, it's yeah. like okay, clearly yeah, you're yeah. not using yeah. the power because right, right. nothing happened when you clapped. But like. What the but fuck are you doing? Why are you show? Why are yeah. you trying to? Yeah, like, exactly. Why are you trying to? It's that kind of stuff us? where it's like, it's like this son of a bitch. And I'm not talking about the cop. I'm talking about the show itself because <laughs> they're doing these things and clearly doing in them in such ways so that it's like this doesn't mean anything. Obviously, right? Obviously, he doesn't, yeah. But then why are you doing it? They're doing it just to fuck with us because they know they can, right? Like, and it's true. It's and true. I, I am both. You know, appalled and impressed and 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 just and all of the, the above. Next episode. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, how how dare you? You can't keep getting away with this, and yet <laughs> right, they do, right. right? And that they do. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. Li Tianji. Um. Ended up watching mm -hmm. at the very least, or specifically didn't watch because her brother covered her face. Mm -hmm. Um. The incident of what happened. Right. Uh. With her parents. Now, I would like to posit the idea. Mm hmm that uh, the show is putting up another mystery here, which is why did Mr. Kian end up taking their case? I think there's a couple very simple things mm -hmm. that are uh, important to note here. You can change things, but it's those big junction things, those big right. moments that can't be changed. This is a junction. Her her backstory traumatic event, that, yeah. that probably can't be changed too dramatically it without having dramatic long, dramatic ramifications right, 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 right. yeah if, so, if, a, if a butterfly flies but, a different way it's not but if a kid crazy, but... ends up covering your face mm -hmm. if maybe you know the mom did kill him and it wasn't but, like some possession but it was thing a, or but it was a different thing maybe the thing of being able to go back and get the closure of no i'm gonna make sure it's oh, done by me oh, uh, i don't because, want her to because be the one to she do it. didn't see it and so it's the right yeah exactly there's that whole observed reality thing it's right, like, right 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 but if the brother observed it then it wouldn't be able to be changed right or, or just just the idea of wanting to be the hands that you know oh, uh -huh. actually yeah. actually did yep. it there yeah so the the, yeah. the Mr. Kian could have totally just gotten the case by accident. He could have realized later as he's doing his schemey, schemey schemes that I'm going to go back in time and make it so that I take that case, right? To to facilitate, mm -hmm. right. you know, manipulations of these children or something like that, right? And then once he does the case and it's like, the oh no, oh yeah, what do we do with the kids? Right. And he's like, don't worry, I'll take care of you. you or, know? or if he has no powers, it's the, ah, now that I have access to mm -hmm. this, ability i'm going to use it to go back and to do all these times to set me yep. up and so she is coming here for help in mm -hmm. that it's the this but she's also needing to play him in that it's the i'm supposed to be here for a trap like i'm supposed to be here to sure. grab you mm -hmm. but we are going to try and double blind him together well, here and that's that's why the the vibe that i get from uh mr kian and uh lee tianxi mm -hmm. is a mother gothel rapunzel type relationship oh where okay. it's the 
you know, he's the manipulator, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's the, she has the power, and so he has to make sure that he controls her so that that way she always does what he wants. That's the reason why she does actually end up needing help, mm -hmm. while at the same time, potentially the way, the the some of the reasons why maybe she has changed so much from, you mm -hmm. know, not just traumatic event is traumatic, but like, oh, I'm going to actively go and kill people and stuff like that, right? right. You tried to save somebody? I don't like that, you know? Yeah. Maybe because he's then been able to like worm tongue her and all that stuff and be like, okay, so this is what you're supposed to do. This is the outlook you should have when yeah. she's at her most vulnerable, right? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how we got to the situation that we are now. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't ha necessarily have to have anything to do with it, but given that there was a decent amount of time that she was whispering to the other cop mm -hmm. and they couldn't hear, there's the obvious thing that we're shown of the, hey, I know you guys are listening in because you knew when I needed to go to the bathroom, right? You know, it's like, oh, yeah, good point. We should have we should have thought about that. But given that Mr. Kian used to be a police officer, we don't necessarily know what kind of connections he does or doesn't have to the other cops on the force. Sure. And so the fact that the the protagonists and also her are not really sharing things with the cops, that seems like the kind of thing that you would do when, one, information is power in this universe yeah. and with the power system and all that stuff. But two, you not only can you not necessarily trust people because of potential power things happening, even if she is the one that has the possession power, mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily know who you can trust in the regular sense either, right? Right. So yeah. that's, you know, like that's the vibe that I get. But the thing is, is that because the show is so intentionally limiting the information that we get, that's just a, it's it's not even a, a theory, right? It's just a, you know, a hypothesis at best, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know. No scientific method being no, applied it's here just, at all. No, it's just a It's a feeling, hunch. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's a hunch. Right, exactly. Right, right. Um, but, oh, man. I, I love this episode so much. We ended up getting all the tension of a classic interrogation scene mm -hmm. where we can feel the power the power shifting towards Li Tianxi. But then we can also uh, just absolutely praise this episode for that lovely uh, way in which the story with the animation of the little animals in the, uh, the cabin and stuff like that was used as a way to pull her away uh -huh. from... The traumatic moment. That was which, a, that was. That's just beautiful. I you didn't need to do that. It's just so. Yeah. I. So, so fucking cute. I very much appreciated that because the previous episode was already uncomfortable enough. Yeah. I did not want to go back into all that stuff. I wanted to be like, okay, that's all we get from that. And now right. we're going to be removed and sort of deal with. Yeah. You know, that as the context for the stuff that happens in the present. Yeah. But then it's like, no, we go back into it and it's like, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. And so then to get that as the break with which then, of course, is the um the bomb before the, you know, the punishment comes back again as right. the story fades back into the audio of the abuse. Right. Yeah. But and also the idea of how much they basically for our own like the way it was directed and edited to not show the abuse yep. in a uh -huh. direct sense was, right, was because, really wonderful because you know we're getting the perspective of the girl well, that does not want to look at it yeah it's, but it's, can't it's, help but observe through her mm -hmm. very sensitive uh yeah, senses exactly well um, both both wonderful and chilling because then it's the ah yes yeah, so now we have to also wonder right you know like yeah. how how bad is all the shit that's happening i'm really glad that the neighbor actually called the police um Right, but because yeah. this this all resolved, the kids you know lived, they were fine, mm -hmm. and the parents both died. But um, but I would not be surprised if it's something where maybe the brother never fully recovered or whatever. You know, um, theoretically, the brother the brother could have been the one to have given the the picture. I don't think so, but like mm -hmm. the the fate of the brother is very much Up like in the air and a, a very yeah. It's it's a ugh. mystery box thing because it is, yeah. because. Both siblings disappeared, mm -hmm. and we've seen her. Okay, but if the brother died, right. that he wouldn't disappear. They'd be yeah. like, there was a third body, right? Right. So given that that didn't happen, and we still haven't gotten any information regarding the brother, and she said, you know, when when she went to Lu Guang, it's the I need to I need to help my brother, right? Right. Right. So you know, I'm. That's that's that is probably the biggest like, um immediate future thing that i would love to see with regards to her motivations right. and it's also a fun way to tie into the themes of what's going on with cheng Jia and lu guang and yep. that they're a partner duo and then they exactly could be a partner duo and, and they, they watch each other's back at different times based on you know circumstance mm -hmm. of who's in the better position to do that right yeah. right now she is probably in the better position to look after her brother right um so yeah um probably what is oh wait 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 Oh, no. 
Chen Zhe did speak when he came out the door. Whoops. Right. I, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, That yeah, is yeah. a good point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So so probably not mind control. Dumb theory. Mm-hmm. Um, little thing, though, that I think is, is important to bring up. Um, uh, it's very clear, I would say, at this point that she does have an ability, a power of some mm-hmm. kind. But the reason why she's probably just so entirely incapable of doing anything about her situation is because Mr. Kyung has her brother and it's just a very uh-huh. clear hostage, I right. do what I want her, I hurt him kind of situation. Right. So I I like the way in which the plot, while it is spilling out with regards to maybe Lu Guang mm-hmm. and Mr. Kian, actually the general plot with her and her brother might actually be simplifying in a really yeah. uh, tight way, which leads generally to a lot of progress. And it also seems like we're getting a little bit of a reset to the serious situation that we had at the end of episode four, yes. where it was the okay, all the all the dudes show up that are looking to hurt people, you know, and and I get the feeling this time we're not going to have, you know, uh, anime grandpa come in to save them. So no. so now it's the, okay, d- all right, th- those stakes that were back there, they are, they are re, um, not, not reset, like, but no, like, it's, it's re-escalated. They're, they, yeah, they're brought back into, into yeah. play. How are you going to deal with that? Yeah. So, all right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So, yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.